Hey, hey, this is Lindsay from Fit and Fabulous, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a chocolate chip banana mug cake. So if you love chocolate chip banana bread, then you are totally going to love this recipe. So today's recipe has only 269 calories, has over 27 grams of protein, and only six grams of fat. So if you stay tuned today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how to make this yummy chocolate chip banana mug cake. Now, if you are new to my channel, my name is Lindsay, and this is my YouTube channel. It is Fit Fabulous, and I make videos like this every single week. And my whole goal is to teach women how to lose weight in a healthy and sustainable way, so they can have more energy and have more confidence and just feel so good in their skin. And I believe that protein is key, especially when it comes to losing weight, so I like to create delicious, yummy, high protein recipes so you can enjoy some of your favorite foods while losing weight and becoming fit and fabulous. So if you are new to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the notifications so you guys never miss a video like this in the future. Plus, if you do like this type of video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and that way I know to make more videos like this in the future. So if you're ready to learn how to make chocolate chip banana mug cake, then let's get started. The very first thing you are gonna need is you are gonna need a little cup. So you're just gonna need some sort of like little mug or little microwavable container that you can actually make your mug cake in. So grab yourself a little microwavable container. And the first ingredient you are gonna need is you're gonna need a banana. So these are like some pretty ripe bananas, which are perfect for this recipe. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna take one of these bananas, because we just need a half a banana in this recipe. We just want half of the banana, put it onto a plate, and we want to mash our banana. So yeah, we just want to mash our banana. Mash, mash, mash. Mash it all up, like so. Now we wanna take our banana and put that into our mug cake container. So we have our half a banana into our container. Next, we're gonna be using some protein powder. So this is some level one protein powder by First Form, and this is the vanilla ice cream flavor. So I always like to have vanilla protein powder on hand just because it's so versatile and you can literally use it to pretty much make like anything. So in today's recipe, we're just gonna be using one scoop of the vanilla ice cream protein powder. Uno, scoop into our bowl, like so. So I do like to use level one protein powder on a regular basis just because I use a low temperature processing. So when you use low temperature processing to actually create a protein, you get a better quality protein as opposed to like the 99% of the other protein powders out there where they use like high temperature processing and it actually damages some of the protein. So a lot of times when you like consume that other protein powder, it can cause a lot of like gas, bloating, upset stomach, a lot of like nastiness. So when you actually use a protein powder that uses low temperature processing to actually create it, you actually avoid all of that stuff. So if you do find that your current protein powder does cause a lot of like stomach issues, then I would definitely consider like a low temperature processed protein. But level one is really great for that, plus they have like lots of delicious flavors. If you guys wanna check them out, there's gonna be a link down below. So, so far in our mug cake, we have our half a banana, we have one scoop of the level one in there. But next we're gonna be using some coconut flour. The coconut flour in this mug cake today just kind of gives it like a little more like umph to it. I don't even know how else to explain it. Plus it does give it like a really, really good flavor. In today's recipe, we're just gonna be using one tablespoon of coconut flour. So we have our coconut flour and we just need one tablespoon into our mug. Next we're gonna be using some Swerve. So you guys have probably seen in like 99% of my other videos, I like to use Swerve on a regular basis just because I do like the, like the taste of it. It's like the best sugar replacement I've personally found. So Swerve does come in like three different kinds. So you can get like the granular Swerve, you can get like the powdered sugar Swerve, which is almost like an icing powder, and then you can get like the brown sugar Swerve. 
Now I did actually order like the brown sugar swerve to try in this recipe, but I don't know. I still think like the regular like granular swerve worked like just as well. So whatever kind of swerve that you guys do decide to use in today's recipe, just be sure that you're using one tablespoon of whatever swerve that you decide to use. Next, we're gonna be using a little bit of baking powder. So this is basically the ingredient that's actually gonna cause like our mug cake to actually rise. Without it, it's just gonna be like a pile of goo. So we wanna make sure that we do remember to put the baking powder into our mug cake. So in today's recipe, we're gonna be using a half a teaspoon of baking powder. We have a half a teaspoon of baking powder, putting it into the bowl. Next, we're gonna be adding in a little bit of cinnamon. So we're just gonna be using a quarter of a teaspoon in today's recipe. And then next, we're gonna be adding in a little bit of vanilla, just for a little bit more of like a vanilla taste in there. So we're just gonna be adding in a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla into our mug cake. And the last spice we're gonna be using today is a little bit of nutmeg. So we're just gonna be adding in a 16th of a teaspoon in today's recipe. And then we wanna grab a spoon and we're gonna stir that up. Now with the spices in today's recipe, I mean, you guys can kind of mix and match a little bit. Say if you want to add like a little bit more vanilla in there or maybe a little bit more cinnamon and maybe just like take out the nutmeg, you totally can. I mean, at the end of the day, the taste is kind of like up to you guys. This is just like the recipe that I really enjoy. So again, if you guys wanna change a little bit, you totally can. Next, we're gonna be putting in a little bit of the unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Now, if you guys wanna use some sort of like other milk like alternative, you definitely can. So if you guys wanna use like soy milk or cashew milk or even just regular milk, you totally can. Doesn't really matter, just whatever you prefer. So in today's recipe, we're just gonna be using a quarter cup of the unsweetened vanilla almond milk. So now that we have that stirred up, like so. Smells good. Next, we're gonna be adding in a few chocolate chips. So in today's recipe, we're just gonna be adding in some sugar-free chocolate chips. So these are actually sweetened with stevia, which is kind of cool. And they actually taste pretty good. And you can pretty much get them at like any grocery store. So the brand is Krista. I guess is the name of the brand. Now, if you guys don't wanna use like the sugar-free chocolate chips, you can definitely use like milk chocolate chips or dark chocolate chips or whatever kind of chocolate chips, it's totally fine. Um, but in today's recipe, like I said, we're just gonna be using the sugar-free ones. We just need a half a tablespoon of chocolate chips. And then of course we wanna stir those in. Mm. Tastes good already. It really does. Now we actually have to like cook this bad boy. So we have to cook our mug cake. So this is a little bit different than like the other mug cakes that I've actually created on my channel. So the other ones I cooked for like a minute and five seconds, but I think because there's like banana in here, it actually takes a lot longer to actually cook this mug cake. So you wanna put it in your microwave for at least like two minutes, if not like two minutes and like five seconds. The other thing I've actually noticed with this mug cake is it always looks like it's gonna like overflow, which it never really does, but it definitely does look like it's gonna overflow when it's in the microwave. So just kind of like be leery of that. Um, but I am going to put this in the microwave right now for two minutes. So our mug cake is done. So it was actually done like three minutes ago, but it was so freaking hot that I just had to take it out of the microwave and then just let it like basically just like let it sit there. So now I'm gonna add a few toppings to this and then I'm gonna try it with you guys on camera. Doesn't that look so good? So for the taste test, let's try it. Look at that. Can you guys see the steam? I don't know if you can or not. So good, look at that. It's deliciousness right there. I feel like you guys could totally make like so many different variations with this. So you could totally make like a banana nut mug cake. So basically instead of the chocolate chips, you could definitely put like some sort of nuts in there where there's like pecans, walnuts, like whatever, whatever kind of nuts that you like. Or you could actually sub it the vanilla protein powder and then just put like chocolate protein powder in there and then have like a chocolate banana mug cake, which would be really good. And I know level one actually does have like the chocolate banana protein powder, like the level one, but I think that would be really good. And then you could actually add like more like chocolate chips and stuff to it. Like I said, I feel like there's just so many different variations that you can make. Look at that. So I hope you guys enjoyed that recipe. Again, it's a super good, delicious recipe, especially if you love bananas and you love chocolate. Like the combination between the two is uber, uber good. So if you guys do decide to try this recipe, I would love to know in the comment section down below. Let me know if you guys do decide to try it or if you want to try it or if you guys maybe tried like a different combination. Again, just like let me know in the comment section down below. 
So I hope you all have an amazing day and I can't wait to see you in the next video. All right, love you.